With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Find the simple interest on 18,000 at a rate per annum for 3 years. Okay, so it is not there. So according to the formula of simple interest is equals to P into R into T upon 100. Okay, and as we can see, we have to find the simple interest. So 18,000 is our principal. 18,000, a rate is not there. We can consider rate. Let's say a rate is equals to 2%. Okay, then we can consider here rate is 2 and time is 3 years and whole divided by 100. So we can cancel out this two zeros with two zeros. Then our final answer of this subpart A will be 180 into 3 to the 6 and uh, that will be equals to 6 into 0 is 0, 6 is uh, 48 and uh, plus 4 is 10 that means 1080 rupees is our simple interest if we have 18,000 principal for 2% 2, 2 and 3 years okay and for second sub part as we can see we need to find the principal if the interest is rupees 140 at 4% per annum for 2 years Okay, here too we can directly apply the same formula. So, simple interest is equals to P into R into T by 100. And according to the question, simple interest is uh, given rupees 140. Okay, so 140 rupees is equals to principal we need to find. A rate is there 4% and time is 2 years. Okay, and hold divided by 100 not 10 okay and we need to find this value of p so we should cross multiply so 140 into 100 upon upon 4 into 2 is 8 and leave p in rhs okay and that will be equals to okay so 8 ones are 8 and uh, 8 ones are 8 then here as well 8108 and we can simplify this again or we can do 2408 and 27070 is 140 and uh, that will be equals to 7 because we have to simplify this again and uh, then after this 70 into 100 will be 7000 upon 4 so this will be equals to 4 1s are 4 30 4 7s are 28 20 4 5s are 20 so 1750 rupees is our principal for second subpart so this is second subpart and in third subpart we need to find the rate of interest if the interest on 600 rupees for 5 years is rupees 150 okay that means here we have uh, the value of principal we have rate we have time we need to find the rate of interest okay so we have to use the same formula in this sub part as well okay so that means c sub in simple interest is equals to p into r into t upon 100 and uh, that will be 150 rupees is the simple interest according to the question 600 is the principal rate as it is we need to find and time is 5 years and whole divided by 100 and uh, we have to cross multiply for this take this 100 to lhs so 150 into 100 divided by take this 600 into 5 in RHS okay that will be 3000 okay 5 6 3000 so we can cancel out all the zeros 
okay so that will be equals to rate and rate will be five percent so this is our third support and in uh, d support we need to find the time in which rupees ten thousand will earn an interest of twelve thousand six hundred at eighteen percent okay so in this case we have to use the same formula again okay and uh, simple interest is equals to p into r into t by 100 and uh, so 12600 is our simple interest given in the question and 10000 is the principal and uh, 18 is the rate 18 percent is the rate okay and time is t as it is and then after upon 100 this whole upon 100 so we can remove two zeros cancel out easily so 100 into 18 into time is equals to 12600 okay and uh, that will and we can cancel out two zeros from this as well then 126 upon 18 upon 18 will be our time okay so we can 9 2s are 18, 9 1s are 9, and uh, we can say 9 4s are 36. So time is equals to 7 years for support D. Okay, and for last support, as we can see, sum we need to find which will amount to 4590 at 12% per annum in 3 years. That means simple interest is given. And we need to find the principal. Okay, so for this subpart, we have to write the same formula SI is equals to P into R into T by 100, and uh, then after 4590 is equals to 4590 rupees is equals to sum into 12 into 3 whole divided by hundred and uh, then we have to cross multiply for sum so four five nine zero into hundred divided by twelve into three will be thirty six is equals to sum okay so we can simplify this so nine fours are thirty six and uh, nine fives are forty five and nine tens are ninety so five ten Okay, and this 4, and we can directly write it down like 4 into 25 is 100. So, 5, 1, 0 into 25, 0, 5, 1 is a 5, 5, 5 is a 25. So, 20 into 5 is a 10. So, our final answer is 12,750 is our final sum. 12, 50. So these are our final answer for subpart E. Time is equals to sub uh, 7 years for subpart D. C will be R is equals to 5% and principal will be 1750. And for subpart A, there is no rate given in the question. So we can consider R is equals to 2%. So that will be rupees 1080. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.